Hey guys, welcome to Woodsman Adventures. So uh, on my wolf pup camper, as you can see here, uh, we bought this in 2017. So the battery in it is actually gone bad. Uh, it still has a little bit of charge to it, but it's lasted for quite a while. Been a good battery. Uh, we don't use it a whole lot, but when we use it, we definitely need a battery. And this company worked out pretty good. This company called Uniwix reached out to me. Uh, they sent me this. They sent me this. They sent me this for no charge to do a review on it, and so I'm not making anything on it. But I thought, yeah, I'll try it because this is a LiPo four battery, which is lithium iron battery, lithium iron phosphate. And it should be significantly better than the lead acid battery back here that comes on the RV. Uh, this is going to be a really good battery. Uh, it is a deep cycle battery, 100 amp hour. So should be really nice. Now, this battery is a little bit bigger in physical size, so it won't actually fit in my case. I'll need to get a different case to put it in uh, to mount it up here on the front. But the cool part about the lithium iron batteries are, too, they're a lot safer than lead acid. The reason they put these batteries on the tongue of a travel trailer like this instead of inside is because, you know, it emits gas. You got lead acid in there, and you don't want that inside your camper. Well, the cool part about the lithium iron battery is that you can actually put this inside. So I may end up installing this inside to get this off of the tongue of the trailer. And this thing is a lot lighter I want to do a weigh test and see the difference between the lead acid and the lithium iron battery. See the difference in the weight, but this should be a big improvement as far as how long it will last. This battery is so nice. And one cool thing about it is, now the chargers it's built to usually in your uh, travel trailers, especially the older ones, a lot of the new ones may be set up for lithium iron. They're not actually designed for lithium iron, but because this lithium iron battery from Uniwix has protection in it, you can't overcharge it. Um, it has protection for heat, so it can't get too hot. It won't charge when it gets too hot, and it won't get charged when it gets too cold, which is really nice. So because it has all that protection built in, you're still safe to go ahead and use it on this charger. Now, you may not get 100% efficiency, so I may go ahead and get a battery charger that's made for lithium iron and put on here later. But for now, I think it'll be great. I'm going to try it out anyway and run it. But I want to take this out of the box, do a weight test, show you some specs on this thing. should be fabulous uh, to have the new lithium. That's what everything is going to now. It's going to be a lot better than the old lead acid battery. And the cool part about this is 10-year warranty. Most of these have like a three-year warranty. I think this one had a three-year warranty on it, which it's surpassed that. But 10 years, so you know this battery's going to last a long time if they put a 10-year warning on it. Usually they're going to outlast the warranty. So very cool. Let me take this out of the package here and show you what it looks like. So taking it out of the package, you can see it looks like a normal battery. It has a ground post here, positive post here. has a nice carrying strap. You can actually take the carrying strap off if you don't need it or if it's in the way. But it is 12-volt, 100-amp-hour, LiPo 4 battery. Uh, this is the Defender series from Uniwix, and of course it is a deep cycle. So this is the X100. It also does come with, of course, a couple posts that you put in here to connect your terminals to, and a couple of rubber caps to cap it off. But look at this battery. You think you could do this with a lead acid battery? Absolutely not. One-handed, sitting down here just picking it up. I mean, it's it's not super light as a feather but it ain't nothing like a lead acid battery. I couldn't do that with a lead acid battery. So this battery is uh, basically it's the same size uh, as far as height and width. It's just longer, so it will not fit in my case, as I was saying. So basically on the back here, it shows the model 12100 rated voltage, 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, and it is 1280 watt hour, which... You think about this, you could use this battery not just for an RV. You could use this for boats. You could use it for a lot of things for a vehicle. These things would take and make great for energy for your house because they are 1,280 watt hour in such a small package. To get a portable power station to get a, and, and this is like, this battery is like 500 bucks. And for the price of this battery, it seems expensive. But if you consider how long this battery will last compared to one of these batteries over here, a lead acid, 
then you're actually not that expensive because batteries right now are expensive. I just bought one the other day for a vehicle and it was 200 bucks. Just so let's take this thing and weigh it and we'll compare it to the lead acid battery. I'll show you my lead acid battery and I'm going to actually hook this up to the camper. All right, so here we have the two different batteries. Here's my lead acid battery. You can see there's the date, it's 917. So it's definitely old and wore out. Uh, and you can see the difference in the size between the lead acid and the LiPo battery from Uniwix. This is a lot longer, actually the same width and pretty close to the same height. So let's first set the LiPo battery on here and see what it weighs. Hopefully you can see it down there. So 23 pounds, pretty lightweight, and 39.4 pounds. So you're talking 16.4 pounds heavier for the lead acid battery versus this larger in size LiPo 4 battery from Uniwix. Um, and 16.4 pounds is a very, very noticeable difference, especially if you're packing it around. Uh, it's going to make a difference, of course, on your travel trailer. It's also going to make a difference if you're using these, like I said, and carrying your vehicle or whatever in your boat. Uh, this is actually a bigger in size battery, but as far as power, it packs a lot more power, longevity, and everything, warranty, and the danger of this battery compared to the LiPo 4 batteries are very safe. Okay, one cool thing about uh, LiPo 4 batteries, the Defender 100 series, is uh, a LiPo 4 battery like this, 100 amp hour, will give you about 2,000 cycles, which is a bunch, compared to a lead acid battery like my old one, which is three to 500 cycles. And this is 2,000 cycles at 100%. So after 2,000 cycles of use, it's still going to be 100%. And then after eight, thousand cycles down to 50 percent well a lead acid battery like the one that i just took out of here that battery will only give you three to five hundred cycles and that's at 50 percent so there's definitely a significant lifespan longer on a lipo 4 battery than on a regular 12 volt dc lead acid battery so the cool thing like i was saying if you use these in the house or whatever you want or even in your camper if you want a lot of power you can actually put like four of these in series and then you're talking you can run them in four in series or four in parallel you can run them at 24 volt 36 volt or 48 volt and you're talking like 400 amp hours another nice thing is i can take this thing hook it up to i've got several different solar panels so i can charge this on solar or if you have the solar on your rv you'll be able to charge it on the solar so that basically it's good for uh, a lot of different things, like I said, the household, for the RV, uh, for boats, for golf carts. Okay, let's take and measure this battery just so we'll know the size of it. I do know I have measured it. Like I said, it will not fit in the box that I have for my camper. I'm going to have to run to the hardware and grab me another box to mount it on here. But for now, I want to hook it up without it mounted. But we'll go ahead and see what size it is. So we are, looks like about 13 inches wide. Uh, six and a half inches depth and then our height is about eight and a half inches a little over eight and five eighths height so basically it's just a little wider than my other battery so i did mention that it is 100 amp hour i want to mention some of the other specs i got here on my computer where i can see it because i can't remember all those specs but uh it does have 250 amp surge for 10 seconds so if you was to uh overload it I mean, it will handle 250 amps up to 10 seconds. What I said, too, it also built in the inside of here. It does have protections. There's a PC board in here that has all the protections to keep this battery optimal and lasting a long time, keep it safe. So it does have a cold protection, which in cold weather, if it actually got down too cold uh, to protect the battery from uh, charging, uh, it does have a short circuit protection in case you happen to mess up and short circuit the battery. You don't want to melt something or burn something up uh it has automatic cell protection built in built in it has a built-in battery management system which is actually this whole thing uh, the management system takes care of all the battery keeps track of everything 
uh, and charges it accordingly and keeps the battery safe. It does have 100 amps, as it says here, 100 amp hour continuous surge. It does have high-low voltage protection built in, and it does have high-low temperature protection built in, which is what I was saying. You definitely want the temperature protection. Uh, very good. This thing has all the options you need, and you can go out there and buy those expensive batteries. It costs twice as much. This thing's like 499 bucks, and compared to a comparable battery with the big brand names, you're going to pay a lot more to get the same battery and just a good a quality as you're going to get in this Uniwix. So, very cool. I'm glad to have this. I think this is going to be great on our camper. We start going out on trips. We want to go to Arizona, Mexico, go to Colorado, pull the camper behind the Gladiator. And we, when we get off grid, because we usually camp off grid, I want something that's going to last a while when you're using your 12 volt. And the battery, that lead acid battery, it does pretty good, but this is going to do over twice as long or three times the capacity of what that little old battery does. So this is going to be great to have on here. So let's go ahead and stick this on the camper. I just want to make sure that uh, that it runs the lights on the camper. It's not much to check on the camper right now. Basically, you have your 12-volt lights. You have your ignition for your lighting the stove and, you know, your ignition for lighting the furnace, gas furnace. But pretty much there's not a lot of 12-volt on my camper. But anything that I plug into the camper is a thing. So anything I plug in to charge phones, to run my portable refrigerator, this will be cool because I can run it off of this battery right here when we're off grid. And I do have this adapter. This is what I use on my old one. Uh, I have this on here so I can actually run the portable fridge from up here in front outside. So I just have it connected positive and negative to DC jack and I can run a portable fridge off of it. So I want to put it back on here too. Okay, have them nice and tight. And I realize this is not where the battery goes. It does go in the case when I get the new case. And then I do have this on here uh, just so I can run a portable fridge off of it. I do need to take this here, and it would be a good idea to put an inline fuse here on the positive line, so I will do that just to protect it. Let's see if we have power. Okay, so my camper is disconnected from the grid. And we have lights. And all of my lights in here are LED lights, so it shouldn't be a problem Rather than anyway, but there you go. Even if you have the old incandescents, it still work. Turn on the light here. Runs our fan. We also have our voltage for our hot water and our pump. So we come over here. We can extend our awning. All by 12 volts. Now I'm not actually connected to the grid. I'm actually just running off the battery right now. And then we have our outside lights on the Yep, you can see my blue lights up here. There's my outside LED light right there. So running every bit of it off of it. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you here, which is how I do my portable fridge. This is actually a new one. This is a real big one. This is a 115 quart behemoth from New Air. But you can see I'm running right here. Of course, this is just the ambient temperature. I just plugged it in. But I can set this outside of the RV when we're camping. Got it plugged into the DC right there. We're good to go and that battery will run this thing a long time that's 1280 watt hour so it's bigger than a lot of the portable power stations that you even get and it's super efficient because it's not running anything else except for the battery and whatever you got connected to it so very cool so yes this thing runs everything on my camper wonderfully i have everything on at the same time right now running this portable fridge outside super cool I love this battery. I think it's going to be great. So they give me a case where I can get them out of here proper, and we'll be good to go. Thank you guys for watching Woodman Adventures. I'll post a link to this below where you can pick one up. I mean, for $4.99, if you compare it to all the other brands, this is one heck of a deal for one of these batteries. And with 10-year warranty, you can't go wrong. So thank you guys for watching. Click the thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Right on.